Welcome to Winnow. This video is about caching in Winnow. Uh, the Winnow cache is the memory that is reserved for the uh, thumbnails down the bottom here and the loop images which are the large images that you'll be looking at. <coughs> the cache status is shown in the status bar on the lower right. The bar indicates how much of the folder has been cached. So in this case, all the images in the folder have been cached. They're shown green. If there's a, a gray, a darker gray, it'll indicate how many images within the folder can fit within the cache. And then the green will indicate how much of that target area has been filled up. And we'll see that as we progress. The first uh, green dot here turns red when we're in the process of caching metadata and the thumbnails for an image. And the second dot turns red when the loop image is being cached. So when they turn green, that means there's, there's no caching activity uh, going on. Now, these particular images we're looking at are relatively small uh, JPEGs, so all 40 of them easily fit within the cache, and when we traverse the folder, it's pretty quick. And it's quick because it's all the images have been cached into random access memory. However, if we were to go to a folder that's got that has larger images, um, for example, this one called Lillian has 50 images in it, and they're 45 megapixel images. And we're currently operating with a, a relatively small cache. So when we go into it, the gray area was how much can be targeted and, uh, before filling up the cache. The green shows that we've now filled it up. And we can see that we've cached all these images here until we get to this red dot. And the red dot on the thumbnail indicates that, that particular image has not been cached yet. And if we go to the, uh, the, gr the grid view, we go down. These first images are all cached, but then you can see that the rest of the images in the folder have not been cached. And if we go back to loop view, let's see what the impact of that is as we try to rapidly traverse the folder. We go lickety split until we run to the ones that are not cached, and then it slows down as we have to wait for the image just to be read and processed, which on a 45 megapixel image can take a half a second to, in some instances with a TIFF file, it can be a, a full second. So what can we do to deal with this? We can see here that um, the light green bar here indicates our current um, position within the entire folder. The green area shows the part that's been cached. It uses an algorithm to cache 70% in front of you and 30% the direction of travel. So if we start going to the, to the left here, now you can see it's filling more in that direction of travel, which is going to the left. But as we saw before, if we're moving really quickly, we, we can run out of the cache area. So the solution is to make, make the cache bigger. So let's look into Winnow uh, preferences and into the cache and the full-size images. And it's telling us right now that we're currently caching um, a little bit over 2 gigs out of about 23 gigs of av available memory. And the uh, strategy is to use the thrifty option. And there's also a moderate and greedy option. Moderate uses up about 50% of the available memory, and greedy goes for about 90% of the available memory. So I'm going to click on moderate, and when I click on moderate, you know, check out the um, cache status in, in the lower right. And we can see here it's starting to fill up. And it's filling up more to the left first because we were going in that direction. Now it's filling up the cache in the other direction. And if we go to back to the uh, grid mode here, now all those red dots have disappeared because it's all cached. And going back to loop view, now let's try to traverse these. You can see we're moving through these puppies pretty quickly now. These are 50 megapixel, or 45 megapixel images. So, and even if we uh, zoom in to 100% here, we can still move through them darn quick. It's in fact the same speed. So that's all pretty good. That's what we want. So what else do we have to 
cover here. Well, let's go back to the cache properties and we'll just take a look at the parts we didn't cover. So you do have control over whether you actually see this caching uh, display and activity. You, if you, you click this, it makes it disappear or you can bring it back. And if you get really enthusiastic about this, you can make it nice and the area nice and big or you can make it small and unobtrusive. It's up to you. And the other area that we haven't covered at this point in time is the impact of the thumbnails themselves on the um, cache. So the two parameters that make a difference on the uh, amount of memory used to cache the thumbnails is how many of them you're caching and how big they are. So 250 is what's been set and I believe it's the default and what that's saying is that you might only need 15 or 16 in your view but in order to have them laid out in front of you it's going to cache in this case um, a minimum of 250 unless there was less than 250 images in the file. And in this particular case, I'm sorry, in the folder. In this particular case, we have 50 images in the folder, so it's going to cache the 50, all 50 thumbnails. However, if you change to grid view and you had a folder with a, a lot of images, you could easily have 500 or 1,000 thumbnails in the grid view if it was expanded into a large monitor. So then it will go for what, what are visible and it'll ignore the 250 number because that's a minimum. And the other thing you can control is how large you can make the thumbnails. So the default here is 256 pixels. Uh, the range is from 40 pixels to 640 pixels. And of course as you go larger it, it uses up more and more memory. So uh, the 256 pixels is sort of a nice sweet spot so that's what I recommend but depending on your situation you can pick what you want. So that's a summary of caching in Winnow. Thank you very much for watching.